Come and count the cost to build the whole town. Come and count the cost to build the whole town. The altar of deliverance, the altar of the law, altar of deliverance, altar of the law. yesterday and it persisted till now I don't know sorry about that sir I will prescribe some drugs for you okay. and just make sure you take your drugs regularly so you understand rest well and eat well okay. you will come back in five days time I'm going to monitor you. Thank you. Thank you. Next. 
that? Are you there? I'm back. Oh. Oh, beautiful. I'm happy to see you. You look exceptionally charming and in very high spirit this evening. <laughs> you can say that again, dear. Um, can you make a brilliant guess? Hey, come on. Don't shoot up my pulse with your suspense. You know I'm not good at guessing. <laughs> Please talk to me. I can't wait to hear what is making my husband to be this elated. Well, 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 well. And it shall come to pass. Thus saith the Lord. And it has come to pass to prove the word of the Lord that. Uh, uh, excuse me this drama and let me hear the good news. Your husband, your one and only husband, has been employed by Crown Teaching Hospital to begin work next month. Praise, praise, praise the Lord! Hallelujah! God is good. And is truly a rewarder of those that diligently seek Him. Ah, <laughs> dear. This calls for celebration. Yeah, 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 yeah. This really does call for celebration. You know, let me get us something from the fridge to celebrate. Sit down, sit down. Sit down. Yeah. Oh, this really calls for a celebration, my dear. How? Uh, what is coming? Oh. God, God, God. Oh God. Mm. Right. Yes. Mm. Ah. You know. I really bless God. I just got the call today. I was excited. Promptly I left whatever I was doing and I went to the CMB's office. Hey, God. Darling. Yes, love. Something just struck me now. I think this is going to be another phase of challenge to us in this family. What exactly do you mean, my love? I don't know. See, there is this worry within. But what the worry is all about, sincerely, I don't know. Oh, are you thinking of lonely moments while I'm away, just as it's, it's happened in my residency? Come on, not at all. You could count on my support, whether you are with me or not. I'm getting used to that. <laughs> what then is the worry all about? What is on your innocent mind, love? I don't know. You see, don't let's get bogged down with that. I'm sure it can't be anything serious. Let's just continue to pray more fervently. Nothing to worry about. Are you sure? Very, very sure. Mm. Okay, um, to assure me of that, take a seat, take a seat, take a seat. Um, just take a seat. Um, you can do that again. Oh. Do it again. Oh. Let me get you something to eat. I think that would be necessary. Thank you. Welcome you all to this impromptu meeting. I know it will be a rude shock to you all to have invited you so urgently on such short notice. Given the fact that we have just met barely two days ago, without missing words, I will go straight to the business of today. Agadariga! The one who feeds on raw human flesh sucks no water but fresh blood from human beings. He has demanded that this upward review be brought to him at the end of two days. Two days and his sacrifice must get to him. Great master, I greet you. Hush! This is not the time for greeting. This is the time for business. Speak up! What do you have to say? Say it! <clears throat> my lord, if I refuse to turn in my 15% increment, I will be very ungrateful. 
Because Agadariga made me what I am today. I will even turn in my 15% increment if Agadariga wants it at this moment. Because he made me what I am today. He brought me up from a position of a Mr. Nobody and he made me a Mr. Somebody. I was not even qualified for the post of the CMD. But through this noble assembly, through this brotherhood, I became the CMD of this great hospital. I now shine daily like a bright morning star. <laughs> My hospital became popular, both locally and internationally. What can I do without this noble assembly? What can I do without great master? What can I do without Hagadariga? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, brotherhood. As a matter of fact, my husband has gained the reputation of the impossible, made possible. That is the name of our hospital now. And of course, why wouldn't they call it that name? Is there anything impossible with us? <laughs> Difficult problems have been solved in my hospital. As a matter of fact, we are the best equipped hospital in the whole country. There's hardly any surgical procedure that will not be carried out in our hospital. I want us to put our hands together for great master. I want us to put our hands together for Agadarika. And I want us to put our hands together for my noble self. <clears throat> my CMD, I've said it all. What can we do without Agadariga and the G Master? To best put it, what can I do in life without the Brotherhood? If not for the Brotherhood, how would I have smelt the post of a consultant? I am now a consultant in obstetrics and gynecology. If you are talking about the best brain in gynecology and obstetrics in this country and you have not talked about me, you have not talked. I am one of the best. I was nothing when I joined this brotherhood. I spent years in two teaching hospitals as junior resident. As a matter of fact, I was kicked out in the first hospital because I could not become a consultant within the six years of agreement. But at the end of the first year, as a junior resident, I met my friend, Dr. Usman, who introduced me to this life-saving, career-saving, and integrity-saving club. I am now a consultant in obstetrics and gynecology within within five years Thank you. Thank you. so what will i be doing if i do not bring in my returns even if it is increased to 30 <laughs> percent compatriots i am glad to tell you that since I joined this noble association, this noble gathering, to say that my business is booming will be an understatement. In fact, it is soaring higher and higher like ego since I joined. Any door I knock must be open. Any button I press must give result. Any contract I pursue must be granted. <laughs> Great master, consider your request done. <laughs> yes. All of us here know how difficult it is for a woman to be elected a senator in this country. 
she must be willing to sleep with men of timber and caliber to be able to achieve what she wants to achieve in the society. I gave the men my body and I received in return their flesh and their blood for you, G Master. At the end of it all, I am the winner and they are losers. They are decaying in their graves while I am here enjoying the benefits of this brotherhood. Agadariga is my god. Thank you all. Thank you, great master. As you all know, Dr. Adedayo, the CMD, and myself work in the same hospital. All what I can tell you is this. We are enjoying the best of all things. Consider all your requests done. To constantly, consistently, and committedly turn in my 15% returns is a task that must be done. My spirit is progressing at a pace I least expected. I have diabolically destroyed many patients to meet up with Agaraliga's expectation. And I am determined to even do more. Thank you, Agaraliga. Thank you, great master. Thank you, wonderful brother. Kate, life is not about food, pleasure, and money. Life goes beyond that. The lady who has all the food in the world swims in pleasure to her satisfaction and so has daily in the abundance of fun. We soon discover to her loot shock that there is an emptiness within her which only God will fill. Essentially, we will all die one day. When the inevitable happens, the big question is, Kate, where are you going to spend your eternity? Eternity can be spent with God in heaven. Heaven is for the redeemed of the Lord. Hell is for sinners. Choose to spend your eternity with Jesus in heaven. You amaze me with this continuous sermon on hell, heaven, eternity, and old mama still by moonlight. The world has left that level. Religion has lost its usefulness. No nation worth its salt in technological advancement. Takes religion seriously. America, Japan, name it. No longer respect religion. Religion is for poor, low-leveled, uncivilized, unbranded, all refined, and disease-ridden people. As for me, I've chosen the path of honor, which is to emancipate myself from mental and spiritual slavery. Kids. Your position is the deception of the highest order, and the devil is responsible for this. He wants to destroy you and deceive you. He wants to cover your eyes and reasoning with so-called modern technology, while he maps out strategies of sending you to hell. Kate, please, turn to Jesus now. Over my dead body. Impossible. I would rather die than go the way of religion, born again, that yes you. I repeat, count me out. Count me out. Not all that glitters is gold. Send your grand, got your treasure, your resolve. You are special. What is the difference between being a consultant and a resident at Snow TV? Nothing serious, except for the prestige and honor that goes with the exalted office of a consultant. I mean, 
You see senior registrars, junior registrars, house officers and students alike, all of them around you saying, yes, sir. OK, sir. Thank you, sir. You know? Any other thing? Nothing serious. Except that down in my spirit, I was sensing that something is not just right. I could perceive a high caliber of spiritual network in operation everywhere. How do you mean? I can't say precisely. However, the Lord dropped a word in my heart. What is the word? Altar of deliverance. Altar of deliverance? How do you mean? I can't pin him down to anything. I thought the Lord would want me to write something on it. So I jotted it down in a piece of paper. Have a look at it. Altar of deliverance. Yes. I went for my ward round. So, Dr. Yusuf, what are we managing him for? Sir, this is a 36-year-old man of this unit. Managing as a case of chronic kidney disease, secondary to chronic abuse of analgesic, sir. So, MS, can you tell us causes of chronic kidney disease? You, polycystic kidney disease. That should be number 20. Hmm? You. Sir? Causes of chronic kidney disease. Diabetes mellitus. Diabetes nephropathy. You. CGN, sir. What is CGN? Oh, chronic glomerulonephritis. Okay. You? Hypertension. Hypertensive nephropathy. Young man? They have said everything, sir. They've said everything? Yes, sir. What kind of medical student are you? Are you reading your books at all? Or do you want to go and check it up in the library? Yes, I will, sir. Okay. Before you attend my clinic tomorrow, Make sure you know 50 other causes of chronic kidney disease. Is that right? Okay, sir. Uh, so, Dr. Yusuf, how is the patient today? It's stable, sir. Okay, and how is the urine now? It's a little more urine, sir. And the appearance? It's clear, sir. Um, do we still have patients in the A&E? Uh, yes, we have two patients, sir. Two but one patients. is stable now. It's stable, okay. Um, we'll go there now to go and see the patient. Um, so, uh, you come and document later, huh? Okay, sir. Thereafter, I settled down to write on altar of deliverance. And the word of the Lord came to me once again in the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 29. The scripture says, Or hells, how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man and then he spoiled his goods. This message, coupled with the revelation I told you I had some time ago. You mean where you fought with the giant destroying people in our North Peru? Precisely. This prompted me to begin to think that God is not sending me into this hospital to practice medicine alone. He is sending me to destroy strongholds, to pull down altars and demolish forces. But the exact area where God will want me to do this task is what I don't know yet. I trust God to make the message clearer to us. By the time we yield ourselves more to Him and pay full attention to His instructions, there's nothing to worry about. You remember about the new challenges I told you where you first got your new job? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yes, I have just a day to get somebody to make up my 15% payment target. <sighs> my target must be met. It must be met. Or I risk total business failure. What still? Great Master will expel me from the membership of Brotherhood if I don't meet up with the target. That will be a disaster. Hey, here yeah, is a boy coming. Let me knock him down with this car. Let's punish you! Let's punish you! That boy escaped.
Priscilla is a fanatic. I might have to change my room. That's yes, you. Your position is a deception of the highest order. And the devil is responsible for this. He wants to destroy you and deceive you. He wants to cover your eyes and reasoning with so-called modern technology while he maps out strategies of sending you to hell. I'm mapping out strategies of making money. <laughs> I have no room for any other strategy. How do I help this situation? I have only a day to go. Just a day to get somebody to, to destroy. What other strategy should I employ now? Yes, I got it. Oh, yes. I will pick up a girl to an hotel room and do the usual thing. <laughs> yeah! Any man that wants to pick me up to an hotel must be ready to part with at least 50,000 Naira. 50k or nothing. I am beautiful, hot, very, very hot, soft, and classy. It will be my greatest pleasure to settle a world-class beauty like you in my car. Could you hang around with me today? No ask to grind if you can pay the price. <laughs> name your price. Just name it. I like your coinage of words. Your assemblage of words is beautiful. I just hope your spending on the good things of life is equally beautiful. Can you pay me 70,000 Naira? 70,000 Naira? Would that be for a week or per month? Just for tonight. But that's a bit on the high side. Okay, okay. I'll give you 40,000 Naira. Poor man, are you the driver of this car or something? Time is going. Waste no more time. Alright, alright. I'm just joking. <laughs> okay. Pop in, lady. Uh, I will pay you 100,000 naira. I mean, 100,000 naira for a day. Holy Moses. You are my sweetie. <laughs> you are my honey. In fact, you are my everything. No tone. That glitters is gold. Stand your ground, guard your treasure, your resolve. This patient is a 31 year old on boot gravida 2 para 1 plus 0 1 alive woman with estimated gestational age of 38 weeks, who is a school teacher and resides at Okemola Ayedade. She's with a previous car. Where is that for? Um, by the way, where is Dr. Atera? He and the other house officers are going to see a woman with grossly distended abdomen. This will serve the purpose. This woman must die. Prepare the theater. Okay, sir. Doctor, I'm scared. Will I make it? You will make it. God will help you. Hmm? We will try our best. You have a lot of work, alright? Thanks, Bishop. Thank you. 
just the car. Ah! Doctor! Hey. Ah! My tummy! She's bleeding! Yes, she's and bleeding! And we're going to snap you about it. All right, sir. Uh, where is her PCB file? <laughs> Have you done the grouping and cross matching of blood? We have done it, sir. It's all right. <sighs> Prepare the theater. This is 100,000 naira. You surely have more than that when we are through. <laughs> oh, Chief, you are too much. You are too sweet. In fact, you have everything. Where are you going? I want to have a shower before we go into action. Oh, do you want me now? I think you like it better after a shower. Or what do you think? Oh, hold on, hold on. Sit down. Sit. I have not brought you here for sex. I have brought you here to do me a favor. Favor? How do you mean, Chief? You will leak this, my soul. Hey! Impossible! Go for it! How dare you ask me to do that? If you can do that, I'll give you another hundred thousand naira. That means you will live here with two hundred thousand naira. Relatives of the who uh, operated. We are in the reception, sir. Ah, tell them to see me now. Doctor, how, how is my wife? How is the baby? Is it a boy or a girl? Your wife had what we call uterine rupture. Doctor. The rupture occurred as a result of the previous scar she had in her womb and the prolonged. Labor. She's bleeding internally. Doctor, that shouldn't be hard for you to correct. Just tell me how much I need to pay for you to correct this, doctor. Any amount. That was exactly why we took her to the theater to do. Uh, she was bleeding seriously. So we decided to open her up. On opening her, we found out that she has bled so much. So uh, she's... She's what, doctor? Don't say anything. Just, just talk, talk to me. You're not saying 
the doctor. She's what? We lost her. <laughs> My life, Jesus. Just, just, just kill me too. He takes me and just kill me too. Ah. My life is gone. My hope, my everything, doctor. Just, just help me, doctor. Please help me, doctor. It was going to be easy to make the 15% increase in the demands made by G Master. But things are really proving me wrong. Hmm. Ebon, hmm. I must confess to you, things have not been easy in my side too. I was at the brink of a complete frustration when a patient was brought to me to make my 15% mark. It was, it was an unbooked Gravida 2 para 1 plus 0 woman with a previous car. I had to tie things down to uterine rupture and concluded that it was too late to secure hemostasis. Well, the important thing is that after all said and done, you are true with the set target. I am glad I'm through. And how about you? I'm also true. The CMD2 is true. Oh, that is beautiful. Pause <laughs> for celebration. <laughs> Have you met the new urologist? You mean Dr. Richard? Yes, Dr. Richards. The man with this strange spirit. Ah. How do you mean? When I first saw this man, I looked deeply into his spirit man and I saw a uniqueness that is quite different from the other Christians. The man is hot, strong, powerful. In fact, an embodiment of power and fire. You are correct. You are correct. I doubt if he be a threat to our activities in any way, especially if we operate quietly and make his work easy for him. I'm sure we be like his other firebrand Christian doctors who are more concerned with their world's demands than the spiritual happiness around them. They focus more and get engrossed with the bulk of their works why we are busy perpetuating our works underground, it won't be an exception. Mr. and Mrs. Omokaru, I called you here because we are facing a little challenge in the treatment of your daughter. We won't be able to continue our treatment in this facility we would have to refer you to the state teaching hospital. I'm sorry, we can't manage her here. <sighs> Jesus, <sighs> what has suddenly come upon my daughter? Oh, she was ill and healthy the day before yesterday when she visited us. Oh God, why me? Why me? <sighs> Take it easy, dear. I know this is not ordinary, and I'm going to get to the root of this. I'm sorry, we can't manage her here. What a pity. How many children do you have? Baba, we have two children. She is the firstborn. She will be graduating next year, and we have Another one, who is in 300 level. That's our younger brother. And that not really you. Papa, what do you mean? It was a terrible loss. What are you saying, Baba? She's not dead. She's still alive. 
She's just critically sick. Oh my dear, oh my god, we left her. She's daddy. She's just a living ghost. She has been used for rituals. Her flesh and her blood. They are in a big pot right now. They will feast on her tomorrow. You have lost this girl, oh. Ha! Why me? Why me, God? Who did I offend? What have I done to deserve this? God, why me? Papa, please, snatch her from their evil hands. Deliver her from their evil pot, please, Baba. Too late. Her life is irredeemable. She has crossed the boundary. Baba, do something, please. Help us. She is already on the altar of, of some powerful agent. They are set to consume her. Imagine, Tony. There is nothing anybody can do about this one. She is gone. Yeah! How? Oh, why me? Why me, God? Why me? Who have I offended? What have I done to deserve this? Oh, God, why me? Baba, please. Snatch her from the evil pot. Is there nothing we can do about this? Not all that glitters is gold. The marital sex is bad. And my pastor also preached that hellfire is waiting for anyone who gets involved in premarital sex. Moreover, I heard this very painful. <laughs> my dear, premarital sex is not bad. If it's bad, people will be doing it. You are not a complete girl if you have not had sex. And you said hellfire is waiting for everybody that gets involved in sex. So you mean everybody will go to hell? Because tell me, who will be in heaven? <laughs> so just, and you said it's painful. Actually, it may appear so initially, but then you do it with the person you truly love. My dear, you won't feel it. And just, you know, I know you love that boy. You like, you love him. So just go ahead and do it in here. <laughs> My dear. <laughs> just do it. You are special, you are precious, precious. Yes. Flora, you are cursed, you are forever cursed. Why? Why such a terrible pronouncement? How dare any moment from now to hold that? But Flora cursed my death. Flora deceived me into being my house. Who to the death set my hands off, Flora? Stand 
your ground, got your treasure, you're a zone. You are special, you are precious, created in his image. You are special, you are precious, you're his bride, he's coming for you. Treasure. Hey, hey. You are special. You are precious. Okay, How are you? Fine. I'm fine. How is work? Yeah, fine. Well done. Yeah. Uh, a moment, please. Um, Dr. Kenny. You see, I have been in this hospital for quite a while now. And I discovered a persistent and consistent 50% increase in our total mortality. Why? I think we need to look into it. Sincerely, Dr. Richard, I am finding it difficult to believe what I'm hearing. You see, it is very difficult to believe. And you know what? That this is supposed to be a tertiary hospital, where all end stage and all sorts of cases are seen. Dr. Kenny, I know and I appreciate the fact that we are specialists meant to bring succor to our teamy patients. And in this case, Uncommon cases are common occurrences here. But I am skeptical about what I've observed in our morbidity and mortality meetings. I think we need to do something about it. And what do you intend doing, if I may ask? I have gathered enough facts mm -hmm. to prove that something unusual is happening. And by the grace of God, I will get to the root of the matter. You just wait and see. Dr. Richard, I'm not discouraging you. But I'm sure this is going to be a wide goose chase. As children of God, God has given us the spirit of discernment to know when things are not going right. The book of Matthew chapter 16 verse 19 says, He has given us the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And one of the keys to the kingdom of heaven is to unlock mysteries. By the grace of God, I'm going to unlock these mysteries. You should just wait and see. Dr. Richard, I'm scared of something. And because it's appearing to me as if you are mixing things up here. You are tending to bring your religion into your work, which is not good for this profession. I'm also a Christian, and I don't believe this is how things are supposed to go. I just want to plead with you that you should um, wait on God and allow him to mold your character and build your life and do not be superstitious. Dr. Kenny. Dr. Richard. I think I need to go. Okay. I will see you later. That's okay. Thank you. you eh? No problem. Yeah, bye. Come and count the cost to build a hotel. Come and count the cost. Life is not about food, pleasure, and money. Life goes beyond that. When the inevitable happens, the big question is kids. Where are you going to spend your eternity? Eternity can be spent with God in heaven. Heaven is for the redeemed of the Lord. Hell is for sinners. Over my dead body. Impossible. I would rather die than go the way of religion, born again, death yes you. I repeat, count me out. Count me out. <laughs> I'm weak. I'm tired. I'm dying. <laughs> Mommy. Daddy. <laughs> I killed myself. Killed myself. I had many opportunities to repent, mommy. I had many opportunities to repent. But I messed them up. I messed them up, mommy. I messed them up. Jesus Christ. Jesus, forgive me. Lord Jesus. Jesus, forgive me. Pudge me, pudge me.
Point me over my own righteousness. Point me. I'm for you, Jesus. I'm for you. I'm for you. I'm for you. I'm for you, Jesus. <laughs> she will die in the next 30 minutes. My Lord. In the next 30 minutes, her soul will depart from that body. She will make my 15%. She will make my 15%, ma. <laughs> Doctor! 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 Where is the doctor? I love the world and the things of this world. <laughs> I rejected God. <laughs> I loved power, money, and fame. They covered my eyes. From seeing God. In my pursuit of money, mommy. Doctor! So where is the doctor? Let me call the doctor. I lived, I lived a decaying song. Uh, uh, Doctor! Doctor, where is the doctor? Oh, Jesus, Holy Spirit, I pray, Father, you will save Kate in the name of Jesus. Father, let the enemy of our soul be destroyed. Let your power be demonstrated in our life in the name of Jesus. Kate, you are for Jesus. Kate, you are for Jesus. Kate, you are for Jesus. Father, deliver her in the name of Jesus. Kate, you are for Jesus. Father, save her. Oh, Lord, save her. Demonstrate your power in her life. Let the enemy of her soul be destroyed. Get you for Jesus. <laughs> God, master. This girl will die in five minutes now. Her parent is already weeping over her. Five minutes more to die. In five minutes time, she will pack up. <laughs> Dr. Richard, that powerful Christian consultant ah, is going towards the world where Kate is admitted. My God. His prayer is potent, powerful, and destructive. If he should get to Kate and then pray for her. Our power will become powerless. And that will disrupt my target. This is chaotic. Please, help me out of this problem. Never mind. It will begin to turn back now. Now. Victory at last. <laughs> Only two minutes more. Two minutes more. We need to do a cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Mm. What is up, with doctor? What a time of date. Of date. Doctor! Doctor! What did you say? Please, please, 
Why do something now. Do something. Please, can you can you tell the nurse to come and pack her? Don't pack her. She's not dead. She's alive. Kate is for Jesus. Yes, she's for Jesus. I stand on the authority of the word of God. And I plunge myself into the pool of the blood of Jesus. And I release power to destroy every evil work in this life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every altar raised for your destruction. Come in the name of Jesus. Amen. I stand on the altar of Jesus, which is the altar of deliverance. Altar of deliverance. Altar of deliverance. The altar of deliverance. Be delivered. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Arise and shine, for the light of God is risen upon you. Arise. Arise. Arise in the name of Jesus. My daughter. She's alive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Is this my daughter? Sir, be for me too. Only the power of the Lord can set the captives free. Trouble! Trouble are everywhere! The Shola has lost the battle! And I have sent him packing! I have shown him the way out! He couldn't meet 15% of his returns! He's now useless! Useless to himself! Those of you in Crown Teaching Hospital have not impressed me at all. You all open your eyes and let that, that Dr. Richard play to the gallery. What are you going to do about him? What will you do about him? My Lord, on behalf of those of us in the Crown Teaching Hospital, I want to sincerely give my unreserved apology to you as the Grand Master and to this noble assembly for the big letdown. But I want to strongly assure you, my lord, that by the hand of this man, Dr. Richard, you'll be out of Crown Teaching Hospital today, my lord. I give my word, my lord. I will wait to the end of this month. If nothing is done about him, you will see the fiercest of my wrath. This month. Ending. This month. Yeah, you make sure you compile all those names I give to you. All right, sir. Make sure there are no errors. Okay. I will be away for a meeting in 15 minutes' time. Please make sure the work is ready before I'm back from the meeting. Okay? All right. Okay, sir. Good morning, sir. Oh, good morning, Dr. Richard. How are you today? Fine. Thank you, sir. Please sit down. Uh, never mind, sir. Thank you. What exactly can I do for you? Um, sir, there are some case files that I'm looking for. Um, case files of deceased patients managed in this hospital in the last six months. <laughs> Dr. Rich, you amazed me. How is that my job? You go to the records. Actually, I was at the records, sir. But I was told you withdrew them a moment ago. I need those files for a research on these unknown killer or killers of patients that is responsible for a consistent 15% increase in our total mortality, sir. <laughs> Dr. Richard, you are new in this hospital and have been the CMD for seven years running. That has been the protocol. Why, sir? Why the protocol? Do I take that for an insult and insubordination from a junior colleague? Not in the least, sir. I am only asking a question. For your information, Dr. Richard, as the CMD of this hospital, I reserve the right to withdraw any controversial file from the records. I'm still at a loss as to why that should be. Our controversy is not meant to be studied and naughty areas looked into. Why are you trying to hide them? What are you trying to hide, sir? That is an insult from a young man to a superior. Ha! Who 
now. What do you know about research? How many papers have you published? <laughs> Dr. Richard, I will advise you to go back to your prostate and bladder. Or better still, withdraw from the medical profession and go to the seminary. I'm already late for a meeting. Excuse me. Out of my office, please. I won't give up. I will get to the bottom of this. To get the mystery behind this consistent 50% increase in our total mortality is a tax that must be done. Hands of cost to build a altar. One more hands of cost to build a altar. Altar of deliverance. Altar of the Lord. Just a warning, woman. Yeah. Tell your husband uh, to stay clear of the research. Uh, we talk of 50% total mortality in terms uh, of Ravu. We kill, uh, we destroy. Uh, if your husband does not stay clear of the research and face his job, you will lose your life. Uh, uh, Don't dare us. If you dare us, you will die. Uh, 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 the war is the love for the wise. Uh, the wise woman. Jesus! God! What the hell happened to you? Oh my God! What did this to you? Jesus! What happened to you there? Talk to me! Talk to me! Stop there! The beauty like this. Oh my god. I'm Let's go. Oh my god. I'm oh my god. Uh, my god. Uh, oh my god. She lost the pregnancy. Jesus! <laughs> After five years of childless marriage, now that the Lord gave us a pregnancy of four months, we lost it. <laughs> God, why? Why? Why, God? My God! This is too much for me, God! My enemies hit me hard! Sorry, Dr. Richard. But I won't quit serving this God. The Lord is good to me. I say it loud and clear to the shame of the devil. God, you are good. God, you are good. God, you are good to me. <laughs> Come and count the cost to build a halter. Come and count the cost to build a halter. The halter of the. Yeah. Please don't leave me alone. They may come after me again. You know, they promised to kill me. They won't, my dear. They won't. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Are you doubly sure? I'm sure, my dear. Don't forget your promises. You promised to stop everything about the 15% total mortality. You promised to resign your job at Crown Station Hospital. You also promised not to argue with anybody, dear. You promised to give up the pursuits. I do. I have surrendered. You see, I have to give up everything because of my love for you. And I know that the Lord will keep us. Mm. 
As I go to work now, the Lord will keep you. He will give us garments of praise for morning. He will surely give us beautiful ashes. Dear, I have to leave. I'll see you later. Huh? Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, we have got them! <laughs> we cannot go ahead with our work unhindered. We can go ahead with our activities unhindered. <laughs> I'm at a crossroad. I'm in a fix. I'm sad. No. 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 I must not give up. The devil must not win this battle. God has mandated me to raise for him the altar of deliverance in this place. I must not look back. But. But. Don't forget your promises. You promised to stop everything about the 15% total mortality. You promised to resign your job at Crown Station Hospital. You also promised not to argue with anybody, dear. You promised to give up the pursuit. No. I love my wife. I will do everything for her. I have to give up this struggle for her life. But... But... Altar of deliverance, altar of deliverance. Thou art my battle axe and weapon of war in this hospital. Thou art my battle axe and weapon of war in this hospital. Thou art my battle axe and weapon of war in this hospital. I'm confused. I love my wife and I also want to do God's will. How do I help this situation? What is the way out? Where do I go from here? I will pray. God, help me. Fight this battle for yourself, O oh God. Fight this battle, O oh God. I destroy every evil power in this hospital. In the name of Jesus, I destroy every power of darkness. Every dominion in this hospital. In the name of Jesus, every power, every principality, and rulers in high places in this hospital, I pull you down. In the name of Jesus, every eater of flesh and sucker of blood, I destroy you by the power in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I raise up the altar of deliverance. Altar of deliverance. The altar of deliverance. The altar of deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me all. Those of you in Crown Teaching Hospital, there is a great assignment our Lord at Katarika has for you to perform. My Lord. You just mentioned the assignment and consider it done. Since our obstacle before now, Dr. Richard, has been rather incapacitated. You just mentioned the assignment and, get, and we will get it fixed up. Good, 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 good. Very good. We need four people from the surgical ward. Tonight, four people must die. Their flesh and their blood is required tonight. Four people? Tonight? That's a very small thing, my lord. We've given you more than that before, and we're going to even give you more. More? We can give you more if you so desire. You will do that in Jesus' name. Today marks the end of your destructive activities in CTH. And in the lives of other people. In the name of Jesus. What? How dare you? How did you get to this place? Who brought you here? I brought them. I was one of you. But now, I'm for Jesus. Jesus is powerful. But you are powerless. 
the Jesus power that delivered Kate from death is enough for me. I have confessed everything to Kate and Dr. Richard. And God has delivered me on the altar of deliverance. Hush! Enough! You fools! You will all die tonight! You will die! Ah, get a nigga! Ah, Who is that get a nigga? What is Agadariga? That is just a name. We have a higher name. A name that is exalted above all other names. Agadariga inclusive. At the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. You altar of destruction. You Agadariga's altar. Eating people's flesh and sucking their blood. I command the fire of God to consume you to ashes in the name of Jesus. Ah! Ah! Your test go! Your test go! Ah! Your test go! Ah! Ah! You struggles! All your powers, I command you to bow to the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Yes. And I release all the people in your captivity. They are free. In the name of Jesus. self-destruction you are a total disgrace both to yourselves to your family and to the medical profession at large for you doctors and people like you and many in our society you are not supposed to be allowed to live because whoever kills by sword will surely die by sword and I want you all to be sure of this very soon you will be charged to court. Irresponsible people. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. I'm in pain, but I'm very happy. I'm happy too. God used us to destroy the altar of destruction in City Age. And also used us to build an altar of deliverance for Him. I'm happy because God is about adding to us in this family. This week is my EDD. I'm happy too. I'm happy and I thank God. Uh, excuse me. Television. This is Midday News. I'm Shade Wilson, your newscaster. Some group of ritualists who specializes in killing innocent victims napped. What? Serious? Yes, dear. Listen to this piece of news. 
The state government has approved new salary scale for state workers. Academic staff union of universities also eventually suspend their nine-month strike. News in full. Some group of ritualists who specializes in killing innocent victims, most of which were patients at the Crown Teaching Hospital, have been hanged dead this morning after the court convicted them as charged. In related development, Dr. Richard Babafemi, a consultant urologist, has been nominated as the new commissioner for health by the state governor. Jesus! Woo! Praise God! Hallelujah! Ah, God! Lord, I thank you. God, you are faithful. Dear, me, Commissioner for Health. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore, even angels bow before Him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore, even angels bow before Him. What a mighty God we Free from the yoke of evil men and the blood of wicked men. Only the power of the law can never fail. Though the host of hell may rage and the evil men may scheme, only the power of the Lord can set the captives free. I'm Adel Tonal Luashem, and by God's grace, I'm the school president of Christian Medical and Dental Association Students, Lao Tech Teaching Hospital Chapter. Well, I'm, I'm happy that um, we had the films produced this year. I must um, say that it has been the Lord's doing. Looking back at um, previous tenures, about five years ago, I knew that our producers, they, they put in so much to see this as a reality. But we thank God that God is giving us grace to have it produced this year. I also say that it is an opportunity for us as a house, not even as a chapter, but as a national body to, to preach to the world, to reveal what our beliefs and our visions are even to the world. We know that as CMD students, our vision statement is that we are trusting God to raise um, Christian medical and dental students and doctors that will be proficient in caring for the woman. Okay, our audience should watch the illustrations with rapt attention and they should learn one thing or the other from the message, which is Christ himself.
the doctor, or you are to seek God first. What God has, has called you to do in your career, before that, your profession. Because even in that profession, God has a purpose for you to do that. Like what Dr. Richard did. God has a purpose for him going to that front to hospital and he fulfilled the purpose of God. So as a doctor, there's a purpose why God has called us to be. For young ladies out there like Kate, who are still in the world and um, who are still taking, they don't know the purpose of God for their life. They are still wallowing in sin. I would like to say to you that just surrender your life to Christ. That's all that what it. That's all that matters. Everything is only Christ that can give you purpose. It's only Christ that can give you joy and happiness. It's only Christ that can deliver you. Please don't be deceived and don't allow the devil to deceive you. He has the producer of the film. I'll say I'm glad, I'm happy, and above all, I'm grateful to God for giving me this privilege and opportunity to stand in this position. Actually, it was just God. I'll say it is God. Then those that contributed to this vision, first of all, I'll say a big thank you to God. It's God that ends everything. And secondly, to everyone that contributed one way or the other to this project. I can't name all our names. Calvary Drama Ministry, Drama Soto, LTH, Atriage, Teaching Hospital, to those that gave us their houses as location, the, those that were in the teaching units, Everybody that contributed, everybody that even donated one way or the other, I would say everybody contributed to this thing. And I would say God bless you. Um, my name is Olatide Olorunni Shola Onolapo, uh, popularly known by my surname, which is Olatide. And uh, I hail from Ogumosho, and uh, I'm a member of the CMBA student, formerly NCCMBS, and uh, I was the um, drama coordinator when I was in 200 level, that was 2006, and also when I was in 300 level, that was in 2007, and uh, I've been a member of the subgroup ever since then. Yeah, in this film, I took the role of Dr. Richard, the Christian doctor, uh, the fervent Christian doctor who shook the foundation of how teaching of spirit, and uh, to God be the glory. Um, my experience on location, uh, it was a splendid experience. I was both excited and fulfilled. Excited because I was doing what I liked doing, acting, you know, and fulfilled because this vision that God has given us since six years ago uh, was coming to pass and uh, we give glory to God for that. Um, the only location also, I had a first-hand experience of how films are being produced. You know, even though I had appeared in a film once before, but not fully, I did not participate fully in the film. But this time around, um, we are doing it together. And uh, I enjoyed it very much. And I would like to uh, feature in more and more and more and more films, even in the nearest future. Um, the central message is to every doctor who is a Christian doctor in every health institution around us, not only in the teaching hospital. Uh, a lot of evil are uh, being uh, practiced in most of our uh, hospitals around, especially in this part of the world. And God is raising Christian doctors that will be able to go and uh, uproot evil altars in this hospital and plant the altar of God in this hospital. And that's the uh, central message of uh, the CMDA student also. We are being trained to care for the whole man in the spirit, in the body, and in the soul. To care for the body of patients, to deliver their soul from hell and to make their spirit whole, presentable unto God. So, every doctor, wherever we find ourselves in the hospital, we are to stand as the altar of God, proclaiming the deliverance of God in all sphere of the hospital.